So now we're going to talk a little bit about maybe our most popular new uh, accessory here is Plant Connect. So Plant Connect is, again, a cloud-based service that just collects data from the belt scales and allows the user to view the data kind of however they want, a couple different ways to do it. So the nice things about it, uh, it's kind of really close to real-time monitoring. We don't need a computer out at the site, but we do have to be able to get on the internet. So that's critical, but we don't need a PC sitting there next to the scale. We can have any number of scales, any number of users, and it's really nice to get the production information uh, on demand. So there's really two parts of this. Uh, you can kind of use it for monitoring. If I'm a boss, you can see the picture of the phone here. I've got a phone, I'm in my truck. I just wanna say, hey, you know, are my guys running? Are the scales working right now? Um, I'm 500 miles away or whatever. Uh, are they working, you know, down in Web City? I'm up here in Rock Falls, you know? Um, <laughs> so that's that's one real easy way just to use the app. So it's, it's you know, um, it could be iPhone or Android, but that's just kind of a real real time monitor. It updates about once every minute. So it's, it's real close to real time. Um, but the other part of it is the website itself. So when you log in, you can also look at the, the scales almost in real time. If, you're, if the boss has finally made it to the office, you can sit there, log in and see multiple plants, multiple scales, watch them in real time, and then do a lot more data analysis of his production and get reports. And then it will email you reports uh, every day if you want to see the production and then you can have the bookkeeper the accountant the you know manager whoever all these different people can get the pieces of information that they want like some of them i don't care if i'm running right now but hey i want to see what we produced yesterday or last week and the supervisor's like i don't care about that it reports as much but i want to see if we're running right now so there's all these different ways that the users the customers can log in and use it and i actually um have a page I'm going to look at real quick here. We're, we're logged in to the website. So this is, there's a couple of scales that are running right now. So I was already logged in, so I didn't have to show that. But here we've got every scale. We can have any number of scales. We can quickly see if they're online, offline. And then there's different ways you can look at different totals. Hey, I want to see the daily total, or I want to know shift one, shift two many different ways to, to customize this layout so you can see the exact values that you wanna see. This is what we call a dashboard, kind of just shows you mm -hmm. the real-time view. Then if you click on this rate graph, not gonna bother because I have it pulled up here, then you can kind of see the historical information. Like what have we been doing for the last seven days? Let's see how what we were doing. Then you can easily zoom in and get a real fine detail on your production. So if I'm the boss, I want to see like, okay, they uh, let's see, they started running at 631. That was great. But then they broke down at 647 and we were down all this time. What was wrong there? Or, well, the scale really you know, uh, was running negative here. That's what we look at a lot is when we see uh, some time period where the scale is running negative, we tell that customer, hey, it's time to do a zero calibration on your scale whenever we see it running negative for a, uh, an extended period of time. But just simply looking at this, if a manager looks at this and they can see, yeah, we've been doing really good today. We've, we've been right at 600 tons per hour. That's where we should be at. A couple little dips, but nothing too bad. You know, this is what they're interested in to um, really nail down the efficiency of the plant and make sure they're getting the most out of their operation. Because that's the thing. It's like a lot of times what you can get from it from you know an owner standpoint or someone who's really you know focusing in on the efficiency of their operation and being able to see 
when did we start how often were we down you know that type of thing and then if we can rectify consistent or things that are happening a lot of you know oh we constantly are starting 30 minutes behind schedule if if they can then figure out how to find the solution to that problem then they could you know they could gain 30 minutes of production so if they're running 300 tons an hour on average and they're gaining then 150 tons of lost time that they would have been having, you know, do the math. That's that's a lot of of money or inventory that you're talking about. It adds up very quickly. I mean, downtime in any business is is difficult and expensive, and especially in you know a quarry uh, in this production, you just can't it's hard to make it back up if you lose production. So here's a couple of examples. So I just ran this report really quick and I can see a very important number is this average, uh, this average rate. So on one day, we, we averaged 369 tons per hour. The next day it was 450. The next day it was 559. Well, that's a ridiculous difference I need to investigate why is there almost a 200, you know, or a 200 ton per hour difference from one day to the next. That 200 tons an hour is a lot of money that we didn't produce, we didn't make that day. So, just drilling down to these fine details are super important for the people in charge. Clearly, and that's what, you know, this is definitely this is probably the biggest benefit of Plant Connect. Aside, I mean, not everybody can sit there and stare at the phone or look at the, the website all the time. But if you're looking at this every day, you should be able to make changes or improvements on a regular basis. And the return on investment is, uh, is amazing. I mean, use properly, Plant Connect should help somebody, you know, uh, return their investment in a matter of days or weeks or whatever. It doesn't take long. Mm -mm. You know, so it's just an amazing benefit. Um, and well, and that comes standard with you know, you can have a scale shipped tomorrow and decide you don't want Plant Connect, but a week later say, Yeah, I want to add it on. That's no problem. Mm -hmm. All we have to do, you just need to get it connected to the internet, and then we just activate your website and get you started. Yeah, so that's and, and that's, I, I guess the beauty of that. Yeah, on the integrator, on any integrator, even if they put it on a competitive belt scale, uh, you could actually lose use Plant Connect because the Cat5 cable and everything is already in the integrator. Is that correct? Yes, that's right. That is correct. We can Super. plug right into it. And we, we can plug into any internet connection. That's sometimes hard to get to an internet connection out there. So we can use a cell modem, which is great if you don't, you know, if you have cell signal, obviously, we you know, we can do that. Or if you're lucky enough to have Wi-Fi out to the plant, or you know, uh, or even hardwired, you know, cable, then whatever method we have to get on the internet, it does not matter. Uh, as long as we've got that connection, we can get it up to Plant Connect. Yeah, a lot of these guys use wireless displays out in the field in conjunction with truck scales and other scales. And mm -hmm. I, I noticed while I was up there, you guys had that very, uh, very uh, neat little metal in a bracket that you mount right to the uh, belt frame mm -hmm. that your wireless device can go into. So we they make it very, very easy for you. Yeah, yeah it's very, very simple, straightforward. So anyway, we'll, and we've got a lot more information about Plant Connect. We need to speed ahead here a little bit, but mm -hmm. we, we will definitely